Hey, what's going on guys? Root at NoShell.com here today, and we are looking at even more Python. This is in fact your 8th tutorial, I'm thinking, and man, <laughs> man, 8 tutorials, would you look at that? Anyway, <laughs> let's get started. I'm going to open up Idle, and you should too, and today we are going to try and look at the theory of Python programming. Now, Python is kind of designed to... To really enforce and encourage like white space and and clean programming, simple. It, the, it should be simple. It should be clear. It's understandable. Like the the naming, conf the way things are named, like printing things. Obviously, print does things. Input to get input. Things like that. Things things are, are named certain ways so they so they make sense. And we do that on purpose. <laughs> In Python, especially when you have. Uh, lots of white space. You it in, in, it encourages indenting and making clear code that you can see. It you can understand when you're reading. You can understand things when you're reading it. It comes across clearly to you and that sort of thing. But sometimes it might be tough for the programmer to really understand what's happening if they don't fully understand the background or anything like that. So what a programmer could do is leave themselves like little notes throughout the program and throughout the source code of what's going on. Now, the way they do that is with something called comments. And that's kind of what I want to talk about in this tutorial other than the idea of keeping things clean and keeping things orderly and tidy and very neat. But with comments, though, they come in two different ways. They're, they have single-line comments and multi-line comments. So now a comment can appear anywhere on a line, but anything that is after the symbol that represents that comment is considered part of the comment. Like if we had print, I don't know, Doug, and we print out Doug, anything after that, if we had a little hashtag here, the hashtag is what represents a single-line comment. We could just say, this is what outputs... Doug. The string Doug. We should make it a little bit more, uh, a little bit more precise. So now that that comment is completely disregarded. It's completely ignored because the Python interpreter doesn't have to look at it. It's just, it's just a note for the programmer. But if we put that anywhere else, like say we put that, I don't know, before the print command, it's not gonna run whatsoever because it's a comment. Let me uh, let me try that again. Yeah, see, nothing nothing happens whatsoever. And we can have we can comment out comment tags. We could have as many hashtags as we wanted to, and put them at completely arbitrarily different places. But the leftmost comment symbol is what's going to take priority there. And this is kind of interesting. Now you can play with this a lot because. There's another there's another sort of comment here. We have multi-line comments, which I'm going to show you in a in a new window because I think this is a little good. Let me save this as a file.python. I'll show you guys what I'm doing first of all. It's yeah, that's already there, but I'll overwrite it. I'm just gonna type in my shebang line for good practice. I suppose I don't really have to, but you know, the more the merrier, I, I guess. I don't even know how that idiom goes in that context. But hey! Okay, let's look at here. Let's look at what we got here. Let's print out Doug again. Cause he's kind of a nice guy. So print out Doug, F5, good, that works perfectly fine. So if we print out Doug, this, let's get our single comment here, this displays Doug. And there's no change whatsoever. But if we did one, two, three single quotes, these are multi-line comments. Anything we type in between these, these lines here, these single quotation marks, is a comment. It's a whole comment, the no, no matter how big you want it to be. Anything we type in between these symbols is a multi-line comment. Let me just type that and get it out of the way. So we could type in raw input. We could actually have some code in here that we don't want to run. See? Now it's not going to ask us for the, that raw input. But let's say... We put one right here. There you go. We could run that, but... Now I get an error. There's this... Oh, that's... That's the indentation. My bad. Do it again. There's still an error, because there's an error in the program, error while scanning triple-quoted string literal. So that comment is still... 
it's sort of just floating around in space. So we have we get a, we might want to clear that up. Well, so we'll put in another ending comment there. So there's a comment that has absolutely nothing in it, but that could help us in the long run too. Because if we if we run this, it's asking us for raw input. But if we had something in here, and let's say we didn't want that code, we could just comment it out or comment pieces of this out. And you can make like as many nests of comments as you want. And this works the same for single line comments, but it it won't be as orderly, I suppose. Da 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 da. But the idea is you have the you have the capability and you have access to being able to give yourself notes and a little bit of a little bit of an understanding of what it is that you're doing in case you ever forget. Like maybe you, you have this this program, maybe you have the source code that you've been working on for quite a while, and then you sort of leave it alone for a little bit. You don't touch it for a week, maybe maybe a month, and you come back and now you have all this code except you don't remember exactly what it does. Sometimes you can't you can't understand all of it. So having these comments and writing and being able to write out what you can do and what you have done is great and you have these little tips and tricks where you can have like three sets of multi-line comments and you can get rid of things quickly and on the fly now I've done that plenty of times if we check out some of my programs I'll uh, I'll open up Python Oh, caps lock is on that's weird dream oh, yeah this one here nothing in here just a little bit of GTK um, let's oh. Open up, let's see, new vocab. Anything in here? Yeah, look at this. Commented out code, just because I feel like I don't need to test that for a little bit. And in case if I ever need to uh, uncomment that, it makes it easy for me to just uncomment the top one, but then we have all this crap that's commented. So what you should do is have a blank comment immediately after that. So that does the exact same thing though, but I think if we put a single line comment here, that does what we need. And then if we take this one out, it, it understands this bottom one as a multi-line comment, but if we had the top one up here, it understands that as a single line comment. Does that make sense? It's kind of like quickly getting rid, quickly toggling code on and off, only by removing a single line rather than having to, wor have, having to, have to worry about both of them. So. I'll save that, but and see, I've I've been making uh, I've been writing some of my own comments here, and what I do when I have a code block or a piece of program, a, a piece of a piece of the code that has to be indented or at least has a little bit more logic structure, I will actually comment out a a little tab or at least a, a little identifier like a stop sign for me to know okay when this this logic flow ends. And I'll be able to talk more about that when we're actually looking at more keywords and more structures and more loops and conditional statements and that sort of thing but for now I still want you to guys I still want you guys to know this is this is the way people write code in Python sometimes it all depends on what you feel like is a good thing to do you can have naming conventions you can have comments sputtered all throughout your program and you can even make yourself little stop signs for understanding the white space and the logic flow but hey it all depends on what you want to do and that's a little bit of the fun of programming. You have choice. You have you have control. You have manipulation. You are God. <laughs> but uh, but yep, that's all I want to show you guys today. Thank you for watching. I hope this gave you a little bit of an idea of what you can do with comments just to keep things easy. Just the way you can write Python code to make it easy and understandable. But I've talked for too long, guys. Thank you. Thank you again. Uh, it'd be cool if you could give me a like, maybe a comment, leave a, yeah, leave a comment, that'd be nice. <laughs> leave a comment! That's kind of a joke. Uh, <laughs> subscribe if you want to, I'm all ears for that, and I'll see you again. Adios.